Welcome back, ladies and gents. And on today's show, a Florida man loses a Lamborghini, a blind man gets a Corvette, and a Donker Vort magically loses weight. I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. Oh boy, you know it's a good day when your first news story starts with Florida man. Well, a Florida man was arrested after allegedly taking over $3 million in emergency government loans and using the money to buy a Lamborghini Huracan. 29-year-old Miami resident David T. Hines applied for $13.5 million in PPP loans. Remember folks, PPP loans are being issued to businesses for things like payroll, interest on mortgages, rent, and utilities. Now, Hines owns four businesses, so he applied for these loans. But the FBI says he inflated his business costs so much so he could get a bit more cash. Now, you're probably wondering, did he actually use the money for payroll? No, actually he didn't. Instead, Hines bought a Lambo and visited fancy stores and hotels in Miami. Now, this isn't the first time Mr. Hines has been in trouble. Two years ago, he was arrested for allegedly fleeing police after reporting that his girlfriend had stolen his, you guys, I'm just gonna really laugh when I'm saying this. Any guesses out there? Let me just tell you. His other Lamborghini. Maybe next time he'll try a Maserati instead. So Florida man might not be walking for a while, but a man in Alberta, Canada is driving for the first time. For 44 years, Mike Shikorowski had a medical condition that caused his eyes to move around involuntarily. As reported by the Global News, an experimental procedure fixed his sight. And what's the first thing Mike wanted to do? He wanted to drive. But which car to buy if you live in the Great White North? A new Ranger performance? Or maybe it's a big Silverado with a plow on the front? Nope. Mike bought a Corvette. A yellow one to be exact. He wanted the brightest color he could get, and honestly, we don't blame him. To me, this whole story is just awesome. Imagine being 44 years old and driving for the first time. And on an even lighter note, literally, guys, Dunkelvort has unveiled an ultralight version of its D8 GTO JD70. Guys, who names these things? Seriously. Well, it's called the Bare Naked Carbon Edition, and it'll make Miatas want to go on a diet. It weighs, get this, 1,526 pounds with the engine, tires, and everything total. Plus, it's road legal. Now, at that weight, you might think that the engine is a tiny single cylinder that runs on cucumber water. Nope. It's actually the turbocharged five-cylinder from an Audi TT RS, making 415 horsepower. Now, that's going to help this open-air banshee go from zero to 120 miles per hour in just 7.7 .7 seconds. That's incredibly fast. Full disclosure, though, the non-carbon JD70 only weighs 1,540 pounds, so the carbon doesn't save you that much weight. Honestly, it's about a 20-pound difference. But what looks better than carbon under clear lacquer? Change my mind. Coming up, some oddballs headed to the auction, but first. See if you don't think this is the most exciting car in America today. Know what makes this car so exciting besides its obvious style? It's the Corvette's not-so-obvious engineering. The things you feel but don't see. The things that led Car Life magazine to award Corvette its coveted Engineering Excellence Award. There's plenty of cars you expect to see at the Monterey auctions. Porsche 911s, expensive Ferraris, 90s hotness. But what about the unexpected gems? The one-offs that pop up once in a great while? Well, eight amazing oddballs are going up for sale at this year's online Monterey auctions, and Haggerty made a list of them. And here are a few of our favorites. First up, the VLF Force One. It's basically a Dodge Viper with a carbon fiber suit designed by Henrik Fisker. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's because only five were made. Behind those tiny headlights sits the Viper's 8.4 liter V10. Hit the loud pedal and the Force One hits 60 miles per hour in just three seconds onto a frightening 218 miles per hour. It's expected to sell at Gooding & Company for between $275,000 and $325,000. Next up is the 1969 M505 Adams Brother Probe 16. 
Wow, guys, that's quite a name. You actually might recognize this car from the Stanley Kubrick classic, A Clockwork Orange. Now, when brothers Peter and Dennis Adams were hired to design the car, they wanted it to be, quote, an investigation into extremes of styling. Well, guys, mission accomplished. Now, it looks like it could go a million miles per hour, doesn't it? Well, the engine is just a 1.9 liter worth 100 horsepower, so it might not go quite a million. But to me, it's still so incredibly cool. Now, only three cars were made for the movie, and this is one of the two likely remaining cars. It's selling at Bonhams and is expected to go between $150,000 to $250,000. But I did save the best for last, and it's a Mercedes pickup truck. <laughs> That's right, you heard me. Mercedes pickup truck. This is a Mercedes W210 E-Class wagon that has been turned into a truck. Now, as soon as this E-Class left the factory, it went under the knife. The stock wagon was stretched 29 inches and the whole bed was fabricated from scratch. Now, it still has the stock self-leveling suspension, so you won't be looking out at the sky when you drive home with a bed full of hops. You know what I mean. Now, inside, it's still 100% luxurious living, so make sure to wipe your boots before you get in. Now, Gooding is estimating it will sell between $65,000 and $80,000. Wonder if it could handle Pritchett Canyon and Moab? It could, but to me, it might still need a lift. To see the rest of our oddball list, go to haggerty.com media or hit the link below. That's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more car news. Until then, keep driving.